Hey there guys, I am Sonic Ghost and welcome back to some more Let's Play Banjo-Tooie. Last time, we explored more of Cloud Cuckoo Land and listening to Helping Mumbo so we can go ahead and do more stuff around the world and also we found a faker we have to destroy. And at this point, there's really not much for us left to go ahead and do in this world. In fact, there's really only one thing left. If we go ahead and take a look at our totals right now and go down to our totals of the whole world, as you can see, we only have one jiggy left and that one jiggy if you can go ahead and see down there in the bottom left hand corner of the screen is our final combination for the safe so we want to go ahead and get that said combination so to make things easier let's just go ahead and jump down here back to the red side because the last piece of the combination we need is back over at the trash can so i'm gonna go ahead and take the flight pad here just so we can go ahead and get into the air, select our clockwork egg, and make our way down to this section here. We could have done this when we were over here with Kazooie by herself, but just for the sake of time, I decided let's go ahead and break this up because once we're done here, we've got a couple other things we can go ahead and do in this game. So, let's go ahead and activate this final switch, revealing the final number of the combination. Oh yeah, 1984. I should remember that. It's a really rare date. So activating all four numbers of the combination reveals our final Jiggy here in this world. So now with that all entered into the safe, let's go ahead and claim our prize. And as you were able to tell with that dialogue, 1984 is a real rare date according to the safe because that date actually has a pretty big significance to the developers of this game at Rare. That date is actually the date of their first game release, so... That's why it's a very significant number, because it means a lot to the developers. But there you go, we got ourselves the final Jiggy in this world, so now we are done in Cloud Cuckoo Land. So let's get out of here, after we take some damage. That's fantastic, thanks. Appreciate it. Had to have one more stupid enemy pop up in front of our faces. So before we leave, I actually do want to mention something interesting about that safe. That safe actually has a little seam on the left side of it, and the seam is actually big enough for you to actually shoot a clockwork egg in between it. So you can shoot a clockwork egg inside of the safe and get that jiggy early. So you can skip entering the entire combination. And if you do decide to enter that combination, then the safe opens up to nothing because you've already collected the jiggy, which is kind of funny to see. But now that we collected every single jiggy in this world, we are done here. So let's go ahead and take our warp pad back over to the world entrance. And let's take our bubble here and get out of this world. So that is it. The final world has been explored because World 8 is actually our final proper level of the game. So at this point, we only have a handful of Jiggies left to collect, which are all back in previous worlds we needed skills from other levels to go ahead and grab. So at this point, we can go ahead and do so. But before we do... I'm actually going to go ahead and jump into our silo and go back to Jinjo Village. Reason why we're going back here is we're actually making our way back over to Spiral Mountain one final time. Because back at Spiral Mountain, we have one more cheat that we can learn. Because now we have all the Cheeto pages in the game. So we have one more cheat we want to go ahead and learn from Cheeto. So let's go ahead and do so. Let's make our way back in the Granny's Lair. Talk to our good friend one final time, which feels surreal to actually be talking to Cheeto one more time at this point in the game. But let's go ahead and talk to him and learn our final cheat here in Banjo-Tooie. Great. You got enough pages for me to tell you a new secret cheat. About time. Spill the beans. Hand over my precious pages first. Much obliged. My fifth cheat is... Jukebox. Got it. Well, that's all the cheats I can give you for now. If you find any more pages, you know where to find me. Well, sad to tell you here, Cheeto, but we're never coming back to find you for more cheats, because that was the final cheat in the game. There are no more Cheeto pages left to give you, so there's no more cheats we can learn from you. So, this cheat here is... The most useless out of all of them, because as the name implies, the jukebox cheat activates the jukebox. It's your sound test, so 
after getting all of these pages, your final reward is just an extra thing. That doesn't really amount to much, but it is a nice little extra for you to get regardless. So, first place I want to go ahead and make our way back to is to the Quagmire area, as we have two Jiggies we need to go ahead and collect in Grundy Industries. We'll activate that jukebox cheat here in a little bit, but for now, let's just go ahead and make our way into Grundy Industries here to get our final two Jiggies of this world. So let's be careful not to get beaten up right away. I don't want to get punched in the face. That would be very unpleasant. So here we are, back in Grundy Industries in Floor 1, this is where both of our Jiggies are located, right around this area. So we want to go ahead and separate Banjo-Kazooie here, so we want Banjo by himself for both of these Jiggies. So I want to go ahead and climb my way up to this ledge, go up this ladder, and make our way into the waste disposal area here. Because this area, we actually had a Jiggy that was taunting us for quite some time in this world, and we couldn't get to it until now. So using our final move that we learned for Banjo here, we can go ahead and jump to our backpack, and now we can just kind of bounce around in this toxic goop and make our way over to the Jiggy. So our final move has one more purpose. Well, that was weird. I was getting out of my backpack just to get back into it. That's kind of weird, but sure, thanks game. Not sure why that happened. So let's go ahead and climb up here and take the shortcut out of here. As you can see, that shortcut just puts you right back outside in the floor one, so that is that. Let's go ahead now and get ourselves the second and final Jiggy here in Grunny Industries. So, this Jiggy is located down to the basement. We got ourselves the air conditioning plant here we have to go ahead and make our way through, but luckily we've already done pretty much everything in this area. And even then, you don't actually need to fight the boss in order to get this Jiggy we're about ready to get as Banjo, so... That's good to know, but we've already fought the boss, so it doesn't really matter. I want to go ahead and make our way down here as slowly as possible. And I'm going to go ahead and take one more hit here on purpose because I don't want to make that long walk back. So we're going to take a death here in a moment. Take that one extra hit. Now we're down to one HP. And with this one HP, let's go ahead and make our way into the waste disposal plant here. And our final jiggy is located underwater here in this toxic goop. So let's put the backpack over our head so we can walk down below and grab ourselves the final Jiggy here in Grunty Industry. Now with that collected, let's take off the backpack and drown Banjo. A little dark, but it needed to be done. It just had to be done at one point, and we did it. Sorry, Banjo. So now with that taken care of, let's make our way over to the train station because where we're wanting to go next is Hailfire Peaks. And for us at this point, the quickest way to get the Hailfire Peaks is actually just going to be the train. So let's go ahead and call Chuffy over the Grundy Industries and make our way over into Hailfire Peaks. That dinosaur looks like he wants to come along. Wait up, train! I want to go! Oh, I guess he's gone now. I guess I'll just stay here. Poor dinosaur. If I knew he wanted to come, I would have just asked him, Hey, you want to get on the train? Get on it before we pull out. But now nah, he missed his chance. Alright, so now with Chuffy here, let's go ahead and use the train to make our way back over the Hailfire Peaks. In particular, we're going over to the fire side. There was never a reason to ever go back to the icy side of Hailfire Peaks using the train. Since that's only for one Jiggy, and there's no way to get out of that side without using the train again to go somewhere else. So there's never a reason for us to go back to the icy side with this train. So here we are, we're back in the fiery side of Hailfire Peaks. So what we want to do here is something we actually did from Cloud Cuckoo Land. In the very beginning of the world, we knocked this ice cube named George down into the surface, which... Unfortunately for him, put him on the fiery side of Hailfire Peaks. And conveniently for us, where he landed was a pool of water that cooled itself down to a point now where it's swimmable. And this water we can actually use back in World 4 Jolly Roger Lagoon. So when we were here, we stepped on the switch with Banjo by himself, and we were told from these pigs back in World 4 that, hey, that water's too hot. 
So if we can make it cooler, then the pigs will accept that water to swim in. So now with the water cooled, we can go ahead and give those pigs back in Jolly Roger Lagoon a nice pool to swim in. So let's go ahead and activate the switch with Banjo by himself and send this water in the Jolly Roger Lagoon. Unfortunately for us, the closest split up pads are basically at the very beginning of this world, which is a little far away. And I wish the split up pads were just kind of right here next to the warp pad. That would have been a little bit better for this, but it's not too big of a deal. So let's go ahead and put our backpack on our heads because we need to hit the switch with Banjo's feet, not with his stomach. So let's go ahead and activate the switch. Okay, why don't we keep on taking off the backpack to put it back on? This is getting weird now, Banjo. Stop doing that. At last, we can go for a swim. Here, take this piece of gold that we stole off of the smelly, bony lady in a big pointy hat. There you go, another Jiggy into our arsenal. There's only one more Jiggy for us actually to collect, and it's back in Jolly Roger Lagoon. And conveniently for us, opening up that way to send the water into Jolly Roger Lagoon makes a shortcut for us too, so we can go ahead and combine back with Kazooie and go through that hole we just opened up in this pond so we can make our way into Jolly Roger Lagoon too. So let's just go ahead and do so. Your third arm still freaks me out, buddy. I'm sorry. I was not expecting to see that. I'm like, all right, well, he's just waving at me and holding on with one arm. No, he has three. I forgot. There's three arms. Get away. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't want to call you a freak, but I'm, I'm disturbed, too. Let's just go ahead and get this jiggy. Make this less awkward. So, let's go ahead and separate Banjo-Kazooie. And with Kazooie by herself, let's go ahead and make our way into a cavern over here inside of this building. So we go inside the building, we go down the stairs to get into the basement, which puts us into this cave. And now with Kazooie's gliding move, we can finally get this Jiggy that's been taunting us since our very first visit here. And with that, that is it. 90 Jiggies. That is every single Jiggy in Banjo-Tooie. So now if we take a look at our totals here, let's go ahead and snap it all the way over the World 8 and go backwards. So as you can see, we got everything here in World 8. Everything in World 7, in World 6, World 5, World 4, World 3, World 2, World 1, and in the Isle of Hags. We have every single Jiggy back in Spiral Mountain. We have every single collectible here too, and that is it. If you've collected everything at this point, this is your final totals. 90 Jiggies, 25 Honeycombs. 25 Cheeto Pages, 17 Globos, 900 Notes, 45 Jinjos, 24 Moves from Janjars. One thing to note though is that your Globo count doesn't reflect the Mega Globo, so we technically have 18 Globos collected in the game, not 17. I don't know why they don't count the Mega Globo on this screen, it's a little weird, but we technically have 18. But if you didn't do the stop and swap stuff, then that number will reflect the proper global total that you have at this point, 17. So that is it, we got all the Jiggy, so now let's go ahead and combine with Banjo and let's get out of here because there's still more for us to do. We haven't turned in all of our honeycombs yet, so let's go ahead and do that next. So back over here on the plateau, let's go ahead and make our way up this mountain one final time to trade in our last remaining set of honeycombs for our final health upgrade of the game. This is our final time seeing Honeybee, so savor it because this is it. I'm Honeybee. I'll trade you extra energy units in return for empty honeycombs. You have enough honeycombs for one extra energy unit. Do you want the trade? Yes, we do. Sure, honey. Toss your honeycombs over here then, big bear. Here's your extra energy. So that's it. That's our final amount of health here in the game. It's a lot of health. And now we can't trade any more of our honeycombs. I'm sorry, big bear, but 
I got no more energy to give you. But you said you're the mistress of the honey. Did I? Well, to be honest, I'm still only an apprentice. So this whole time you've been lying to us. I see how it is. Let's get out of here. I don't trust you, you liar. But yes, that is it. That is our final thing all collected in the game. So now we have truly 100% completed Banjo-Tooie. So there's one thing left for us to do, and that's back in the Wooded Hollow. Let's go ahead and enter our final cheat code into the code chamber. So we're back in the code chamber here one final time to enter our final cheat here, Jute Box. So let's go ahead and do so. I have a brain fart where the K is, even though it was right next to my cursor. The layout of the letters here are really weird, so it's pretty easy to mix them up, in my opinion. But there you go, that's the final cheat entered. Jukebox. This activates the jukebox at Jollies. So there you go, we basically just unlocked this game's sound test. So let's go ahead and turn that on. Turn on and off our double stuff so we can get a refill on our feathers and our eggs. And let's go down here to turn on Jolly's jukebox. So now with that activated, let's head back to Jolly Roger's Lagoon and see what that did. So here we are back in Jolly Roger's Lagoon and... Okay. Hi. Thanks for rescuing me from the bio-infested innards of the ferocious sea monster. Actually, it was just a very large fish. It seems like a monster to me. Alright, that was kind of weird. Wasn't expecting that dialogue, but yep. You're welcome. We saved you a while ago, but you're welcome anyways. So, at the main jukebox, we can actually go ahead and use the said jukebox here in Jollies. to go ahead and listen to whatever music we want here in the game. So, say we can listen to something from Spiral Mountain here. So, say we can listen to the blues music from Banjo's house. So, this basically turns off all the sound effects minus the menus here, so that fire we can't hear anymore. But the weird thing about this sound test is if we hit cancel here, it just stops playing the music. So you unfortunately need to stay in the jukebox menu to hear whatever music you play. This is kind of a weird use of sound test in my opinion, because normally this kind of thing is its own separate menu, but it's an interactable object here in the game, so it's kind of weird for that reason. But this even activates music in other areas we haven't been yet. For example, Cauldron Keep, we don't even know where that is. We haven't been there. So, that also feels a little weird, but yeah, you can pretty much play anything. Even in the miscellaneous section here is other stuff too, like menu music or power-up music as well, so... You pretty much have every song right here in the jukebox, which is cool and all, but at the same time, this is definitely different. It's a weird way to implement the sound test of this game, in my opinion. I would have preferred to have this say on, like, the main menu, but yeah, it, it's here instead. And also, when you're sitting here after a while, as you can see, we got our good old friend Jolly over there dancing, so... Let's actually play a song he can really dance to, so let's find ourselves Fun and Games. One of my favorite songs in the game. Very high-paced and just a good old song in general. So... If you want to listen to this for a while, I'm just going to have to leave the menu up like this. Which is kind of annoying, but... As you see, every time you mess around these menus, the icons do change, and it reflects on whatever characters are from said world. So that's a pretty cool thing to see. But yeah, that is it. That is our final cheat code of the game, and that is everything that we need to collect. Our bat tracking is done, so there's really not much left at this point for us to do. So, now with that said, next time on Let's Play Banjo-Tooie... We'll be finishing up our adventure by heading into our final location of the game, Cauldron's Keep. I'll see you guys next time.